Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Today we have a very interesting looking puzzle. This is a Sakura Mochi puzzle. It comes from Akio Kamai in Japan and is based on a rice cake, I believe, that is pop popular around about Hanamatsuri time. I tried to get some for this video, but it seems like this is basically impossible to source in the UK, but I'm now really interested to try and taste this and find out what it's like. This one is super nicely made. It's uh, got this wooden leaf over the top, some very nice detailing as well. This did come in a little while ago and I had a little play around with it. I thought it might be super simple to solve, but after five minutes I was getting nowhere, so I thought, oh, this will make an interesting video. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a closer look at this. And the craftsmanship on this is pretty incredible. So we've got this Sakura Mochi, which is this cake. I think it comes with a pickled cherry um, leaf and this, this leaf here is made from wood. And it's even got this detailing here. You can see the inlay of the veins on the leaf. I think that's a wooden inlay. So really high quality finish on this. And it's got these little, um, I think they look like little cocoa beans or something, but I'm not entirely sure what those are. And then in here, we've got a little bit of movement on this part. There's a spring or something behind there. So I'm assuming that's where it opens, but I didn't have much luck with this initially. Underneath, we've got, uh, I think that's Akio Kamai's Maker Mark and just a nice clean plate there. So all in all, a very nice looking puzzle. And we're gonna see how difficult it is to solve next. So I'm gonna get into the solution. If you don't want to see that, I'd recommend you stop watching at this point. But if you are keen to see that, stay tuned and we'll get to that next. Okay, so here is the Sakura Mochi puzzle. Okay, time to try and solve this. So first thing we need is our coffeeometer to see how long it takes us to solve. And let's get started. So a couple of observations I had about this to start with. The leaf here is fairly well secured onto the plate. So that probably means that this is not gonna move. So I thought at first maybe we could slide this whole, this whole cake one way or another, but I think because it's stuck down on this leaf, that's not gonna happen. Again, I thought maybe these cocoa beans are moved, but I'm not getting any luck moving those at all. This, as I mentioned, has got a spring behind it, so I'm fairly sure that's where we're gonna be opening it. On the other side though, so it's gonna be really hard to show this on camera, but this piece you can see is cut and it's a separate piece from the main body underneath here. This one though is also cut, so I'm not sure if there might be some kind of opening or movement on this side as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. With the cake, you just can't twist it or move it. So often with the Karakuri puzzles, the design itself is a clue as to how to open it. So you'd think with the cake, what would you do? Maybe you would pick it up or something, but slide it across, but it's just nothing happening there. So maybe we can move this bit, this base plate and try and release something seems fairly well secured on there though don't seem to be able to move it um when in doubt so i'm guessing there must be a pin or something holding this in place and i can't hear can't hear any moving parts if I give it a shake, so I don't think there's any kind of um, pins that might be separated by spinning. It doesn't seem like, usually you can hear a bit of a rattle if that's the case. Sometimes I can't hear anything. Maybe we need to bash it. Give it a tap. <laughs> this puzzle's so nicely made, I don't really want to damage it by doing something that I shouldn't be doing, but I know sometimes I've seen there's the bad radio puzzle, which does have this kind of solution to it, but I don't know. I don't have an awful lot of ideas for this one. Maybe there's, um, these definitely don't move. Maybe there's a panel or something to slide here. Just doesn't feel like there's any movement in this top piece at all. 
maybe under here. Doesn't seem to be any movement there. Often these are so well made that you can't really see the sliding panels, so it might be that I'm just missing it. Maybe we need to press these both at the same time and no. upside down. No. Trying to have a look inside to see if there's anything that I can see that might give away the mechanism, but I can't see much. So this looks like it's just a piece that's going to come away. And then behind there, I can just see that it looks like a solid kind of box in there that I think is going to be the main compartment. Maybe we need to slide the leaf somehow. Hmm. I often find myself just doing the same thing over and over again and hoping for a different outcome, but I don't feel that is going to work this time. So I thought this one would be really straightforward to do, but I just can't seem to find any way of actually moving anything on this. So you have to hold it. Sometimes you have to hold them in a certain orientation. And so there must be a pin or something. I think, I still think hitting it, possibly tapping it, might release. Okay, so if I'm having to think about this, I think there must be some kind of pin in here to hold this in place. And once you've moved that, you can release this. So I still think possibly tapping might be the way to release it, but it just doesn't seem to work. Or if we can move some kind of panel somehow. This just doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to want to move. So hang on, it's a wee bit of a, hmm. it's a little bit of an indent here. Oh, check it out. Ha. So look, we found it. Okay, if we have a look inside, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's a spring in there. Can't see much else, but this is the hidden compartment here. So it comes out and it's got this little notch on the end. I'm guessing that's hooked into something. And this is basically invisible. I don't know how you're going to find this if you don't know what you're looking for. This is this uh, behind the leaf, behind this wooden leaf here, I think. It feels like there's a, a button behind there. And we press it. Oh, <laughs> and this shoots out. That is so cool. So it's basically invisible, you, you can't really, the only way you can find it is if you can, there's a slight indentation here, you slight feel that, a slight softness rather than the firmness of the rest of it, but, huh. what a fun puzzle. This is so, Unusual. I don't think I've come across this before. And <laughs> so fun. Well, there we go. Sakura Mochi box unlocked. Okay, so there we go. That was the solution. That was definitely not what I was expecting when I started out on this one. Very fun, very interesting, completely unique, I think. I don't know, I've not seen this before. Maybe it is a solution to some other puzzles. Maybe quite hard to logically get there. But if you play around with this one for long enough, I think you'll probably find it if you do know that you're looking for a hidden mechanism. 
If you want to check this out further, we've got a few. I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can check it out. If you've hung around to this point, thank you so much. If you enjoy the videos, if you could subscribe and like, it really helps us out and it means a lot. I'm going to continue my hunt for this Sakura Mochi in real life though. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.